Welcome back to our R4J Requirements Management for Jira video tutorial series. By now you would have set up requirements in your project and created some links across multiple levels. Now you want to keep an overview of your requirement linkages. The coverage view offers you an easy way to have a tabular visualization on the linked items. You can also use it to create new relations between issues. Let's get started using our existing project Fitness for You or F4Y. Imagine the scenario. Our project is ready to start. The requirements are quite well defined and in a good shape. We are going to examine them and their dependencies, so the first quality gate is already inside. As the first check, we need to know if all the system requirements match to the business and user requirements. Do the traces show missing links? Are some modifications necessary? The verification department has created and planned necessary system and acceptance tests. The quality of the product is closely examined. But not only the test results itself are of high interest. All these requirements and tests have a close relationship between each other. The different stakeholders in your company need to trace from the customer's request over the development tests to the product's final acceptance. R4J uses the linking of Jira issues as space for sys coverage analysis. Your Jira administrator enables the issue linking with the required link types. For our project, we use the derive and test type. Note that there are always two definitions, outward and inward, to describe the dependency direction between the issues. In R4J, you will see these dependencies in the detail view of a selected requirement in the issue links section. Using the arrow icon, you can jump to the referenced item in the tree. However, for an overview, this is much too complicated. By clicking on the coverage tab at the top right of your view, you will be redirected to the coverage view. At the beginning, this page will be empty. If someone has already shared defined views with you, you can load them from the view sidebar on the left side. Let's start from scratch and create our own view. Click on Select Source Items to define our configuration. Since all of our business and user requirements are of type Customer Requirements, take this for our first column. For more specific selections, you could use predefined Jira filters or the Jira query language JQL. Now we have all our Customer Requirements listed. With Display fields, you can manipulate what details you can see in your view. For example, to show the assignee for the requirements approval. There is also a filter option at the header of the first column, where you can limit the source of your requirements to a certain folder from the R4J tree. The most interesting part comes with a second column when you add a coverage level. Our system definitions are of type functional or non-functional requirements. We could define a link type to limit the results, but right now it's not necessary. Now we get a detailed coverage view where we can see the gaps between the listed customer requirements and the defined system requirements. With these levels defined, it is quickly visible that a little bit of definition work is still pending. Be aware of the link role derived by stated in the second column as an inward link type. The coverage rate gives the ratio of already linked items to missing links. If you are capable of defining these links, you can already close the gap by using the coverage view. Hover over the cell in the second column and select Create new linked issue or Link an existing issue. 
In the same way, you can remove a wrong relation here. To include an overview of the defined tests, we define a third column for the test cases. This time we specify tests as the inward link type. As we want to display the tests related to our system requirements, the column base shall stay as previous column. Without any doubt, in this project there is room for improvement. Nevertheless, we will get the full picture by configuring acceptance tests in the fourth column. This time, select the first column as the column basis to display the relations between customer requirements and acceptance tests. Luckily, this doesn't look so bad. After a lot of work, you want to share and reuse your definitions. To do so, click the button Save View As on the sidebar. You can choose between your personal, private storage or public within this project. Thanks to R4J's easy to use options, you are now able to keep an overview on your project with different coverage views. Use the tab Coverage to create and save new views with different perspectives and focus. You can set up new corresponding links and export all to Excel for sharing with colleagues and customers. Please stay tuned for more video guides about R4J requirements management for Jira. For in-depth information, get in touch with our friendly contact persons at eSolutions. We will be glad to provide you with expert guidance and best practices.